These three steps will help you to boost your FPS in Fortnite and make your windows overall responsive. So guys, welcome to my channel. If it's your first time here, please subscribe, drop a like on this video and video is in time, let's dive straight into it. So guys, in the very first step, we are going to create a new profile in our performance monitor on our windows. So guys, for that, go for your windows search and search for performance and you will find our performance monitor. So make sure to run this as administrator. After that, here you will find out this kind of interface of the performance monitor. Now I need to go for this option that is the data collector set and click on the drop down. There you will find our user defined. So click here on this option. Now right click here, go for new and click on the data collector set. After that here you need to put here any name like I'm typing here persons. After that go for create manual and advanced settings of the performance monitor. After that click on the next button. Now you need to check mark on the performance counter. Now again click on the next and now click on the add button and add here processor. And processor option so guys here is our processors now you need to go for this next tab and now choose here the maximum number you have available in this list so i have 15 so select the 15 after that click on the add button now scroll a little bit up and there you will find on this processes option so go for this processes option now you need to set it on the total after that click on the add button and add these two programs or counter into this table now click on the ok button and guys that's it click on the ok next and click on the finish button so guys now the next step we are going to disable the windows power throttling and disable all the bag running application from all windows so guys for that go for your windows search again and search here local and there you will find out edit policy group so click on this option and you will find out this window now go for computer configurations administrative template windows component app privacy now scroll down and there you will find out let's window app run in the background so open up this file now you need to enable the settings for disabling all the background application running in the background. Now go for default for all app and set it on default to deny. Then hit apply and click OK. Now again go back into the main directory of this file. Go for administrative templates. Now go for system. Now scroll down and find out here power management option. So guys go for power management folder. Inside you will find out this power throttling settings. So go for it. Now here you will find out turn off power throttling. Double tap here. And now you need to enable the settings on your PC for disabling the power throttling. Now enable the settings, then hit apply and click OK and close out this window. Now in the next step, we are going to create the best and powerful power plan on our windows or we are going to edit the power plan settings. So guys, for that, go for your window search, search for power and open up power and sleep settings. Now you need to go for advanced power settings and there you will find out all this power plan available on your PC. Now here we got a bit some high performance and by the way if you want to get the bit some high performance on your PC so you can guys download the power control on your PC link available down in the description simply join my discord server after that go for this download tab and there you will find that power control you need to simply scroll up in the download tab and there you will find that power control application click on the download button and download and install this exe file on your PC after installation here you will find out this current interface of the power control and this is one of the best applications for optimizing the power plant and your CPU. So go for CPU settings profile, click on the drop down and set it on the bit some high performance. Then click on the make activate and this will apply this power plan. Now after that you need to apply all the settings on your PC, hit apply and this will unlock all the scores of your CPU for gaming. After that go for bit some dynamic boost enable, check mark on all these boxes and click on the ok button and guys this application will keep running in the background. So guys here our bit sum is already selected now you need to go for change plan settings go for change at one settings and guys make sure to check out these settings before closing the power plan settings so guys you need to go for the hard disk and set it onto the zero now scroll down go for processor power management click on the expand button now you need to scroll down a little bit and go for minimum processor state click on the expand and set it on the 100 percent now go for maximum processor state, click on the expand button and also set it on the 100%. And guys, by the way, if you are getting the CPU button lacking or high CPU usage, so I suggest you to guys change the settings onto the 90% because after that you will fix all the stutters and FPS drops in Fortnite or any other game. And this will also make your windows more responsive and faster. So guys, after that hit apply, click OK and close out all the settings. Now you need to one time reach your PC, therefore all the changes take effect. After that, launch your Fortnite and enjoy the best performance out of your PC. I hope so you love this video. Please make sure to drop a like, subscribe to my channel, and until that's the next video, peace out.